been talking about for the last couple of years as a volunteer. Um, so we asked her to make this report on this, this special event that happened here today. But I'll, I won't explain much more. Please give a warm welcome to Daphne Dachar. which for me felt like robbing my own bank. Right, question, what's in this piggy bank? Please, shout. Money. No, <laughs> give me more, crazy ideas. Yeah. <laughs> what else, come on. Art. Paint. Art, paint. Pork meat. Meat. <laughs> Mummies. No piggy bank. Right, next question. What's in these two bad boys? These are the two vaults here in Duck. Um, uh, give me some uh, specs and I wrote this down. This is a Lips vault made in 1920 and installed here in 1929. It has 13 centimeters double steel doors. So, oh, right, that's fast. Um, <laughs> right, we were expecting George Clooney and Brad Pitt and Paul and Ocean's Eleven on us with uh, Long John and a Nifty Mickey, but uh, unfortunately we had Maui Skem. He is the class specialist in the Netherlands. He's been doing this for 21 years, and he's never had a lock that he couldn't open. Uh, let's go back in time. This building was built in 1929. It was firstly used as a factory. Nobody actually, I couldn't find it what for. Felix bought it shortly after, and then it was used as a base camp by the Nazis in World War II. And after that, it was storage for von Abel Museum. So, let's do some conspiracy theories. What would Philips and Bio be storing in these two fronts? We thought there might be stocks in their papers, important stocks for the market that could be valued in the millions. Um, it used to be, oh right, that was really fast. Um, right, the Nazis in World War II, what would they use the vaults for? Was it an armory? Was it uh, escape plans for Hitler? Was it uh, the takings of the Gestapo in Eindhoven? Maybe black coal? Maybe something more valuable like diamonds or uh, gold bricks? Or maybe a dead body? Um, then from the Albert Museum, we think there might have been an art thief who stole some paintings, put them in the vaults, took, uh, took the key home, and then got shot by his partner. So, lost the key. <laughs> right. Yes, Duck Pioneers, the first people who ever came and built Duck as it is now. Maybe they were like primates or squirrels and stored the food into the vaults. So that when they had too much to smoke and got the monkeys, the munchies, then they could eat their food in peace. You never know. Right, so what is a lock? This is a drawing that Maurice drew for me. Sorry ladies, I don't understand it either. But, um, the top thing is supposed to go sideways. There's two of them, but he didn't draw two of them. And then the bottom half should slide into the top. So what he wanted to do, with the use of these tools, is put the bottom half into the top, right? So the tools that we see is a camera, two drills and bits, the loper keys, vacuum cleaner, magnet on a stick, pen screwdrivers, pincers, ruler and a pencil, and two cups of coffee. <laughs> How to open a vault, one on one. Let's do this. First, get some inside info. Who built the vault? What does it do? Uh, where do you drill your holes to look inside? Um, we made the measurements, and Maurice, obviously, as a skilled lock breaker, knew how to do that. Um, this is him with an electromagnetic drill, which made it very easy for him. <laughs> and uh, next to that, we had a bit of difficulty because he didn't place the holes in the right spot, so we had to do it by hand, which took a very long time. Um, right, then he took out his camera, and you can see inside the 
on the right you can see inside the lock and that's where he just uses a screwdriver and some pins to push the bottom up so you can open the lock. Okay, Ooh. after that, we expected it would take about 10 minutes to open a lock. In real time, we waited for about six hours uh, for two doors to open. The second door was a lot quicker because you knew where to drill the holes. It took 45 minutes. And this is okay. what's actually inside. <laughs> Yeah. Not much there. Some old presentations yeah. from Philips. Hey. There was a sticky note on the door that said, if in case of losing the key, you should call this number. <laughs> <laughs> Which was a number from 85, so I guess that doesn't work anymore. But yeah, we knew that the last people that were in there were Philips, and it was an 85. Um, next slide, please. Yes. Uh, this is the second door. Inside the vault we see a lot of papers and there was some videotapes, some recordings, but mostly just boring stuff. <laughs> there were some full DMs though, which we can read yet, but we're going to try that tomorrow. Right, good to know that we have now gained 15 square meters of tuck space. <laughs> And it's going to be used as a music studio for one of our artists, Richard, um, so that we don't hear his sound. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lock the door if you don't like it. <laughs> I'd like to thank everybody for listening to my short story, and uh, obviously the people who gave me this opportunity to document this. That's it. <laughs> Well, thank you, Daphne.